Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Anna's decorative monograms, the circle monograms that are in the middle. I'm going to click insert images and I need to search for the cartridge. So I'm going to click the word cartridges. I could type either monogram or Anna here. If I wanted to see all the cartridges that have monograms, I would type that. Let me show you. So this is the cartridge that we're looking for. This is mini monograms from several years ago. And this is monogram motifs, which was recently released as well. If I wanted to see all of Anna's cartridges, I'll just type in Anna, press enter. And this is now showing me all of Anna Griffin's cartridges. This is the one that we're looking for. So I'm going to click view all 103 images. So my initials are KIA. When you're doing a monogram, you always put the initial for your last name in the middle because it's the largest letter. So I'm going to search for K, I, and A. And then I'm going to choose a frame that I want to use. I'm going to use this one. I'll insert those images. So that's brought all of these in. So I'm just going to put these in the order that I need them to remind me so I don't forget because I need to use tricks like this all the time. Let me just drag this over to see. Okay, so I need to make the frame a bit larger. Leave a little bit more space there and that looks good. What I can do is I can design my monogram and later on once I have everything fitting correctly then I can make it larger or smaller depending on where I want to use it. So I'm going to take the K letters back out of here. The next thing I need to do is ungroup all of my letters and I can right click and ungroup or I can choose the letter and look in my layers panel and click the ungroup button down here and I'll ungroup this one as well. So these are all now separate letters. The letters that I will not be needing will be the two K's here because I only need the K on the left. I need the middle A and I need the I on the right. So I'll delete those. I'm going to bring this A into the center of the frame. I'm going to choose both of these pieces, click a line center them horizontally, click a line again, and center them vertically. So now I know that my A is centered within the frame. Then I'm going to bring my I down into the frame as well, and I'll bring the K in. And I'm just lining these up by I. You can adjust them if you want. You can make the letters smaller or larger if you want to exaggerate one. And there's nothing saying that you can't go outside the box and make your A as large as this where it actually sits on top of the frame because you could do that if you wanted to. I'm going to select my middle letter again and the frame and I'm going to center them again because the centering was lost when I was doing that. And I can adjust these letters so that they look good. And then I like that. And then I'm going to take all of this and group it. So now I can resize this the way I want it. And if I wanted to make it wider, I can do that. I can make it longer, whatever I want to do. For those of you who are using the physical cartridge with the expression mini or original bug, you can have a look at the handbook here on the Cricut website. It shows you how to use, how to get all the different images using the universal keypad. The letters are here under the images. These are the keys that you press on the keypad to get those images. And to get to these handbooks, all of the handbooks are available on Cricut's website. 
The address for these handbooks is cricut.com slash home slash handbooks. And you can see that the list of handbooks is right here in alphabetical order. So you can find whatever you're looking for. And you can search on a Mac, press command F for find and type in what you want to find. I'll show you. You're going to see down here, it shows what I'm typing. So let's say if I type in monogram, it's going to find all the cartridges that have monogram in the name. On a PC, you would do the same thing, except you would press control F. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. So if you want to become a super subscriber, all you need to do is click this gear on the side of subscribed over here. See when it, when it says subscribe like this with a check mark, it means that you're subscribed. If you click this gear, you can choose to have YouTube send you updates and then you'll receive an email message whenever I post a new video. Thanks again for watching.